Hello and welcome to getting started with Simplegon in Unreal Engine 5. In this video I will showcase how to install the plugin and a brief overview of LOD recipe and stand-in outliners. This video assumes that you have already Unreal Engine 5 installed. Start by downloading the latest Simplegon SDK release. Link will be in the description of this video. Once that is downloaded, please start the installation. When installation is complete, we will be asked to either provide a Simplegon license key or we have the ability to request either a free or evaluation license. Once installation and license activation is complete, let's start an empty Unreal Engine project. First, we need to activate the Simplegon plugin. Go to Edit, Plugins and search for Simplegon. Activate it, then restart the editor. Once restarted, we can find the Simplegon icon in our editor toolbar. It gives us a warning, however. The reason is that Simplegon is not set as the de default mesh optimization interface. To solve this, we will click the icon and set it as default. Then we will restart. After restart, we can see that the Simplegon icon is green, indicating that Simplegon is used for optimization. Now let's create a LOD recipe. Right click in the content browser, go to Simplegon LOD recipe and give it a name. A LOD recipe is a collection of meshes and reduction settings. We can have both skeletal and static meshes. But let's start by adding a skeletal mesh. We can specify the number of LODs and the settings used to process each one of them. Right now we're gonna leave it as it is. To start the process, press the build button. We can see that our newly created LODs are integrated well into Unreal's LOD system. To create a stand-in outliner, go to Window and then bring up the stand-in outliner window. Select the objects which you want to be part of your stand-in outliner and then press Create. We can choose what pipeline we want to use for the stand-in. Billboard Cloud is either Billboard Cloud pipeline for vegetation or outer shell, FAR is remeshing pipeline and NEAR is the aggregation pipeline. We are going to use NEAR, which is aggregation. We are going to use the default settings and can build the stand-in by pressing build. We will find a stand-in created in the outliner. We can toggle between this and the original objects by right-clicking on the eye icon. Our standing has, however, all the materials from the original assets in it. To bake all of the materials into one materials, we're gonna go down to Material Property Casters and add Base Color, Metallic, Roughness and Normal Casters. After building, we can see that our imposter now only has one material. This is a great way to reduce draw calls in your game. That is all for today. Thank you for listening.